Hi, I'm George, and in this Affinity Photo training, we'll be changing this black car here to red, doing a little Affinity Photo color change. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for several more Affinity Photo videos, and if you really want to learn how to use this program, take a look at my training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Using Affinity Photo to change the color of a car is actually pretty easy. And the whole thing relies on making a very careful layer mask. Let me show you how that's done. I'm just going to delete these layers in here with the trash can right there. There we go. And I'll get rid of this levels adjustment. And here is the original photograph. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make a careful selection around the outside of the car. Clear around like that, around and over the wheel wells, along the bottom over this wheel well, and back to the front. We'll then go back and take out the headlights, this grill down here, these grills over here, that little icon in the front there, the windows, and of course these little dots right down there. So we'll remove all those from that first selection. Now an easy way to make this selection is to use the lasso tool, and that's right over here. Freehand selection tool, there it is. And in here you have several options. You have freehand, you have polygonal, and you have magnetic. I'll be using the polygonal for this one. And then on the mode, you want to have this set to new. And I like giving it just a little bit of feathering at one pixel. And anti-alias will help to smooth out the edge. Now to make the selection, we're just going to use this tool. You click and then you find a new point, click again, find another point, click again, find another point, click again, and go clear on the car and back to the starting point like that. And that makes a selection. It's that easy to do. Let's just deselect that. If you need to make a curve, you just make a whole bunch of little dots all in a row like that and slowly work around the curve. Straight lines can be a lot longer like that. So curves, just little short ones and straight lines a lot longer. Now one thing, be careful, you don't click too fast. If you click too fast, it's going to close out that selection and you have to go back and start all over again. So I'll go ahead and delete that one. Okay, that's the basic concept. Now to make this thing easy, you want to really zoom in real far. I'll do just a little bit of this to show you how it's done. And then I'll pause the video and I'll finish the outline of the car. I'll bring the video back up and I'll show you how to remove a section on that. Okay, so I'll start off here with the selection tool again. And we're using that freehand selection with the polygonal and new and one pixel. So just choose a starting point. I'll come right down here to this corner. Kind of easy to spot that right there. Now, the nice thing about this is that Affinity Photo does give you a big blue dot where you start. Now, to slowly work around and come in and to slowly make your selection in here. For curves, you want a little shorter selection, and for straight, you can go a little bit longer. Now, once we have the layer mask finished, you can come back and clean that up a little bit if you need to. You can actually paint on the layer mask and do a little bit of cleanup in there. So that is possible. There is a, a chance in here to make adjustments if you need to. Okay, I'm just working up around here. Now, when you get to a point like this where you're getting up near the edge, just hold the space bar down. You can then pull this. Now, notice that your selection disappears. Don't worry about that. It will show up again as soon as I let go of the space bar and the mouse. There we go. And then just continue working along and making your selection. So it's that easy. Again, for tighter curves, just put your dots closer together. And for straight, you can go a little bit longer. Like right there can be a bit longer. There it is. And that's really it. It's just a matter of going around and making this big curve. Okay, I'm going to pause the video at this point, And then I'm going to finish the selection around the outside of the car. And then once that is done, I'll bring the video back up. And I'll show you how to remove those inner parts, like that logo in there and the front grill and the headlamp and some of that stuff. Okay, there's the outside selection. And as you can see here, I went around the car here, over the top, over the wheel well like that, over the wheel well over here, and around the bottom. We now need to remove this front grill here, the license plate, and that little bit of a grill right down here, this grill right in here, this little dot, and that little dot, the front headlight, of course, the logo, the windshield, and the side windows, and these two door handles in there. All that has to be removed. Okay, 
Let's just do just a couple of these. I'll do the headlight first. We'll just zoom in on that. So it's easy to see. There we go. Okay, back up to the same tool again. And this time I want to subtract this from the existing selection. So go up here to subtract. And we'll start right down here, bottom left hand corner. Now notice there's kind of a black bit of plastic around here, kind of a black surround on that. So we need to keep that in mind as we're doing this. So I'll start down here and let's just slowly work on this little corner here. I'll leave a little bit of space out there for that bit of black plastic that surrounds the headlight. And then for tighter curves, put your dots closer together. And for wider curves and straight lines, you can put your dots further apart. And if you mess up, if you go up like this, use the Control Z key and it deletes that last dot that you did. If you mess up, you can just quickly take that out. You can also, of course, clean your mask up after you have made it. That's okay as well. Okay, now around to this side. Now, as we get down to this right-hand side here, we're going to begin to see that black plastic surround. So I'm just going to pretend I can see where it is, and I'll put in a little bit of black down here. And then I'll aim down to where I'm beginning to see it, which is right about here, and the work around. So, you know, sometimes you may have to kind of guess where the line should be and put it in at that point. Now, right down here, we're seeing that black surround, so now it's pretty easy to follow that right along the edge of the metal in there. Okay, just work back around to the beginning. Right back on top of that blue dot, click on that blue dot. That then subtracts that part from the overall selection. Okay, I'll hold the space bar now. Let's go ahead and move this. And let's do two more things. I'm going to take out this little bit right here and one of these. Same technique, just find your starting position, make sure you're still on subtract, and we are. And on this one, you can see there's the chrome bit right here. Some reflections in here. Watch out for those reflections. They may fool you a little bit. So come right into here. And it looks like the actual line is right there. There it is. And then around this chrome piece here. Again, take your time on these little curves. And just work around. And the chrome piece, again, is that second line in there. And there's the black edge. I can work along this and bring it around to the other side. And same thing. Just Slowly work around and bring your whole selection in. Now again, to be careful down here, make sure we don't miss that curve right there and pay attention to the reflection of that little bit of chrome in there. So again, it's a little bit confusing in there. So just be very careful. And then back to the beginning spot right there. That finishes that off. Okay, these little circle things here, a little bit trickier, although they're so small that it's not that critical. I'll go back here to our selection tool. And again, I want to remove this bit out here and then add that bit back in again. So it's kind of a double piece here. So I'll do the outside first. This I'm right down at the pixel range right here. So it's a little hard to control my positioning on these. So just you know, do the best job that you can. Again, these are so small, it's going to look just fine when we actually finish this thing out. And also the anti-aliasing will smooth this out. And our little bit of feathering will smooth this out as well. Okay, so I removed that, and I want to add this inner part back in again. So back up here to add, and let's get that little inner section in here. There we go, just work around that inner part. And clear back around to the starting point right there, and there we go. Okay, so just back out to zoom to fit. So we've gone through, and I've now removed this bit from our selection and we've removed that bit and this bit. I still have to take out this one here, the license plate in the front grill right in here, that little logo, windshield and the side windows and the door handles. I'll do all of that stuff off camera. So I'll pause the video right here. I'll finish off taking those parts out of the selection and we can then move on to the actual color change steps. Okay, there is the completed selection. Now at this point, I'm going to make a duplicate of the background layer. Just right click and duplicate right here. There we go. We'll use this one for the background and the top one for the color change. And the color change will happen inside of this selection. Now to do that on this layer up here, we're going to make this into a layer mask. So come down here, layer mask button right there. It says mask layer, click on that. There's that layer mask. If I open this thing up, there it is. There's your layer mask. 
Now, if I hide the background layer, that's right here, there we go, there is that section masked out, and that's on that layer. Okay, we can go ahead now and delete that selection. Now, if you think you might need to come back to that, just go up here to Select, and you can actually save your selection right here. Just save it as a spare channel. You'll know, save into the project. You can then bring that back up again. But now I'm just going to deselect. There we go. Okay, so we have just the car body separate now from everything else. And we can go ahead and make our color changes on this. Now for that, a couple of ways of doing this. One is to use layer effects up here. And the second one is to do adjustment layers. We'll do this with layer effects. That's an easy way to do that. Come down here, make sure you're on that background one here. This is the second, you know, the top background layer. Come down to the FX right here. Click on that for layer effects. Brings up our layer effects dialog box. And the one you want here is color overlay. And what this does is it puts a solid color right on top of whatever you have on that layer. In this case, that's where all that paint is. Now we can change the color right here. So just click on that little color bit right here. And I'll pull the red clear to the top. So I've changed the color to red. We can now bring our opacity down a little bit. I think I'll bring it down to about 75%. Use our slider control here. That's pretty good. You can kind of see through it just a little bit in there. And then we'll change the blend mode. Now I don't want it actually changing this except for just the color. So let's come down here and change the blend mode to color right there. So we now have red, but we're retaining all of that shadow and highlight detail from that black layer. And that gives us that nice red car. And we'll choose close. We can now show the background again. That's looking pretty good. We can take this further though with a couple of adjustment layers if you want to. I'll put an adjustment on this layer here and we'll use that for adjusting the car values and we can put an adjustment on the background layer for adjusting the background values, the grill, headlight, and all that kind of background stuff. Now for that go over here where it says adjustment and click on levels right there. And here we can increase or decrease our blacks. Now notice how this is kind of working on the whole picture right now. I don't want to have that happening. I don't want it on the whole picture. So let's go back to our layers. See right here, let's right click on this and we're going to come down to mask to below. And that moves that adjustment layer inside of just the car here. And if you double click on the icon, it brings the controls back up again. Now if I move that black control, notice it's only working just on that one layer and that's our color layer. I want the blacks to be just a little bit darker. Let's take them up to about 7% right there. It's a little bit more contrast in there. I want to bring the whites up a little bit to about 90% or so right there. That's looking better. Now, if you're not sure about this, just close that and you can show or hide it right here and see what the effect is. So I've got more contrasty in there, but I also want to bring down those whites and blacks. Just kind of merge things together. We'll do that down here on the output levels. So on the black output, I'm going to bring this up. So it kind of merges those blacks together. About 12% looks pretty good. And on the whites, same idea. I'll bring the whites in a little bit. About the same amount. I'll bring it into about 80, 82 in here somewhere. There we go. Now I'm just kind of eyeballing this to see what looks good to my eye. Okay, I like the colors in here. It looks real nice. looks real natural. Close that. But the tires now look a little washed out. The grill looks a little bit washed out. So I want to bring in some contrast into the background area, which will also include all those other areas in there. So I come down to the background layer, go up to adjustment, and then use levels again. Just double click on that. I'm going to close that back to our layers, make sure it's there. There it is. Double click, bring it up again. And this now adjusts the values in here for the background. And that's also those additional pieces on the car. So I want to have the blacks a bit blacker. You see there how that is now working on just that part. So it'll bring us up to, oh, about just before we hit 20, maybe 18%, looks pretty good. And on the whites, I'll make those a bit punchier as well. Just a little bit, maybe about 93, 92. There we go, I think those now match the quality of the red paint in there, and there we go. So that's how to change the color of a black car here inside of Affinity Photo. We can show the background or hide it. There is the original and there is our new adjustment. Of course, this is without the background adjustment, with our background adjustment, and with our color change right there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for more Affinity Photo projects, and of course, 
to really learn how to use this program, take a look at my training course for Affinity Photo, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.